So now we're going to talk about my viewership in comparison to the amount of abuse, cyber abuse that I'm receiving. This is like being in a bad relationship where a wife normally is being battered in the privacy of her home, we'll say, right? And she goes out in public and she doesn't tell people. And the few people that she does tell, the few people, right, the few people that she does tell, they, they can't really do anything about it because there's, there's not enough numbers there for them to really do anything other than to maybe give her a bit of advice or they just, you know, sympathize. Because maybe they're being abused in their own home by their spouses. Because I don't want to say it's just women that are being battered because I know men out there are being battered as well, right? But when you look at my membership, right, in terms of subscribers, it's a low subscribership and probably 20 of them are most recently fake usernames just so that they can come in and do their thumbs down, right? Like I, This one here is a fake user. This Greta, Greta Atkins is it been blocked. I can tell you that right now. Been blocked many times and is a fake user account because people have multiple accounts, right? And they use them, right? Let's see if I can figure out another one in here that I know is no good. This guy's been blocked. He's, he's sarcastic and rude to me, All right? So I think he's just a troller. I like the pond digger. I really do appreciate his support. He's got 65K in terms of subscribership. And this guy, he works with rocks, so needless to say, he's solid as a rock. You know, so that's good. Um, I admire the retired warrior because he fights for the vets in the USA. I mean, this is just some of the people that I'm familiar with in terms of subscriptions, right? Um, anyway, we're moving on. Okay, so the point is... Oops. Stay, I don't know. My computer's uh, been hijacked, people. I have to clean it out. It has viruses. So anyway, I have 335 subscriptions. And uh, it's been freezing up a lot lately. Right? Because it's been hijacked, that's why. Oh, I don't want to waste time. So anyway, these people here, this William Wallace and this fat Cheryl on a horse and a couple of this others and there's another one in there that joined the bandwagon right I was explaining to my daughter how they pick anything it doesn't matter what it is oh, who cares about that let's focus on that not even a mention of a cake for the poor kid that's a double negative people they they throw out a lot of double negatives Okay, I realized the saddest thing today. Andre had a birthday the other day. Okay, this was posted the 26th at 11 p.m. After this person watched my video of the birthday party that Andre had yesterday, which was the 26th. And then she comes in at 11 o'clock at night and then tries to play it like Andre didn't have a birthday party. And then it was somebody's obligation to inform her right that you know not even a mention of a cake for the poor kid double negative people same thing with this one double negative just watched the video they threw him a party he really looked he really is a cute kid how did you know it was Andre's birthday how did you know Right? How did she know? Because she watched the video, people. And if she didn't watch the video, who is she? Is this somehow connected to Uncle John? With his sister nurse? Right? With her awards? Inoculating the masses? Is that, is that who that person is? Or is that somehow connected to what? D uh, taking notes on a pad? Right. And then did you see the 
the girl's huge camel toe. I didn't even know what a camel toe was until my daughter told me what it was. So anyway. And not a man at the party. Again, double negative, double negative, double negative, double negative. This is the same kind of stuff that when I lived at Gateway Place and I used to go out into the courtyard, people, I'd be out there for 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours. From the time I went out there and set up to the time I packed everything up and brought it brought it to... Uh, what do you call it? Back inside into my three-bedroom apartment because I had no storage facilities supplied by the company. So I had to bring everything back into my house, my apartment, where my family lived. At the end of the day, you'd get this same kind of hater crowd that would start with their double negatives. Right? And of course, it's, it only takes one because negativity is very easy to spread right because people don't want to take responsibility right they didn't want th those people that went out into the courtyard and tried to um, you know pick fights at the end of the day so all the kids would be upset everybody would get upset not once did they ever come outside and try and help and I was out there for 10 12 hours people every day you know several times a week several times Two to three times a week, I used to go out and do things with the kids. There would be days I'd go through 40, 40 kids, 50 kids in a 12-hour period. Because as soon as two would go, three more would come. Right? And then you'd have your high point of the day. and Some would go and then more would come because they're coming in from other programs or, you know, they went swimming and now they want to put something together in terms of a craft before they go home. So that's how I ended up being outside for like 12 hours at a time, right? Because I had to go through the numbers, right? That's why I accumulated a fair amount of craft stuff over the years, shopping at Value Village, because I was providing those opportunities to ch large groups of children at, at, on a regular basis. It's just once I moved into this house, the yard kind of overtook my time, right? And these people on this website are taking advantage of that. Right, and they draw on any kind of double negative that they think that they can find, so that they can promote this stuff. Their, their, uh, what do you call it? Their little advertisements. That's what they promote. They promote their advertisements. Right. There's another one up there. It will come up. Right, and YouTube is participating in that. Okay for whatever reason for whatever reason oh yes because I'm, I'm easy to attack I'm easy I'm a I'm a test my little 335 subscribership is an easy is an easy target is an easy abused woman to be able to um, here and we'll publish this and see what happens um, because nobody sees my videos the majority of people that see my videos are the spammers and the cyber stalkers and YouTube staff because you know YouTube is involved okay because they're on it you dump 35 views 11 thumbs down and within five minutes it becomes age restricted over something that is you know life <laughs> right life <laughs> Simply life, you know, everything I do is related to life, people, is related to life. You don't think that this website isn't affecting my children's um, self-esteem? Just knowing that there are people out there that are being double negative to maim and to harm and to beat, like when a husband comes home and beats his wife up and she can't go and do anything really about it because that's her home and that's you know that's not what she married into these people married into my into my non in, they married themselves into my nonprofit this, this one here this, I don't know who this person is uh, but she gets beat up quite a bit too effing being fat I don't know they're relate they're 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 relating to somebody look at all these ads do you see this they just pop up out everywhere but I've read it and you know they they 
there's a lot of garbage in there, people. Just a lot of fucking garbage. I feel sorry for this person. You know, because... Who are these people to talk? Just like, who are they to talk on mine? My little page that they set up for themselves to do their double negative so that they can get their readership coming in and looking at these ads while YouTube plays into it. They, they enable the abuse to continue. This is why I'm doing this video. They enable this abuse to continue because they're trying to hide it. Because I heard on Alex Jones' channel through his reporting that once YouTube age restricts a video, it becomes lower on the search engine and it less chance for it to get for the big guys for the big channels a million views because when you click it on i don't for me it's i'm i'm okay it won't make okay, me people. sign in it won't make me sign in but for other people they have to sign in and because they don't want to take the time to sign in you lose the view right and and this is a, a corporate tactic to redirect traffic somewhere else while well, you've got your hate website doing those double negatives right to reinforce that anti-social behavior in terms of psychological abuse and this is why they can get away with what they do because I'm a nobody right I'm isolated down to my little channel that obviously has a house full of abusers in it, right? Hiding behind fake usernames and multiple accounts, right? Knowing that whatever it is that they're doing, they get rewarded for it because they accomplish what they tried to do was to cover up the bruises, people. They're trying to cover up the bruises. They're trying to cover up the fact of what happened to Uncle John. They don't want me talking about the healthcare system and how the problems that happen with Uncle John are systemic for hundreds of thousands, millions of elderly people that have to go into these care homes and be told that they have to take medicine and be told that they have to go to bed and be told that they have to wear a diaper, right? You know, they don't want that truth, that reality to get out there because the reason it becomes the reality and the truth is because we've experienced it. We've lived it. We're still living it. We mourn for Uncle John every day. And we're helpless to do anything to prevent that abuse from continuing. Because it's still continuing, people. Because nothing's been settled. Right? So, they can't take any chances. They can't take any chances. They would pr rather protect a dirty website that bashes their... YouTube is protecting this website, okay, that bashes their clientele. I'm a client to YouTube, okay? Personally, I feel like I... Here it is, right? Vloggers and YouTube bloggers. Now, the difference between... Everybody else in here is, nobody in here owns a trademark name except me. They are violating on my trademark rights by using my trademark as a double negative to promote hate. Right? And they're hiding behind the logo of get off my internet. As if somehow my YouTube channel or anything else that I do in relation to the nonprofit and you nations unity belongs to them so they've forced themselves onto me and they're using the stories that I tell around the nonprofit and the history of the nonprofit as a means to convince their membership their readership that they're validated in being able to say what they want so that they can continue on with the abuse Right? They're making excuses. And they hide behind their right to try and inaliate me and the nonprofit and my family under the guise of, well, you, when you read, a lot of double negatives in there. Right? That's like being abused. And then you have to go home and cover up 
cover up the, buse, the, the bruises. You have to go home and cover up the, the, the bruises. So when you go into my page, oh, okay. if you notice, I don't show the thumbs up and the thumbs down because I'm covering up the bruises. I'm covering up as if what a man would be doing to me and I had to go out in public and present myself as I'm shopping to go buy food or whatever it is. I'm covering up my bruises because I don't, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, people. And no, I'm not embarrassed because if I was embarrassed, I wouldn't be pointing this out to you right now. Okay? I wouldn't be pointing this out to you right now. I'm fighting back, and the harder I fight back, the bigger the bigger the uh, mob gets it seems in terms of we've got like I said YouTube participating in this right because they think that whatever effort that I've put in here and I noticed this when I was doing the events in the park and you know the outside Andre please for a minute no I don't want to listen to that please Andre Andre thank you um, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing the little street stuff with the kids out in the streets in front of the businesses and stuff, right, the block parties and that type of thing, and the park events, you know, as soon as I would upload something in relation to that, YouTube was quick, quick to jump up on it. And I tried to explain to them through their, you know, appeal process and all this other crap that, you know, I do what I do for charity purposes so that I can push the agenda of the nonprofit forward on a larger scale, right? So that we can actually help people and do things, you know, in terms of like community projects and, you know, that type of like co-op housing and just <laughs> lunch programs and, you know, because everybody's got, everybody's got some kind of issue, right? So, so that's how we all ended up with the provincial trust accounts was to deal with people's separate issues. But YouTube, you know, they, you, you go in here and you, dispute the claim or whatever it is, you get it released, you come back five minutes, ten, five days later, whatever the heck it is, and you got a whole new music company disputing the same song under a different section. So it got to the point people were, between being stuck in this yard and then having to go out and do community work in the community and carry this stuff and and pay for it to pay to whatever it costs in terms of buying food and giving it away or, you know, pop or whatever it was, you know, gas, it didn't matter, right? And then having to come home and then have to, you know, convert everything and then upload it and, and then all of a sudden you got a big smackdown by YouTube. And it doesn't matter what the video is. As long as there's some kind of little bit of music in there, all of a sudden they think your video, your effort, your everything belongs to them. So I just gave up disputing them. I figure one day the nonprofit will have a lawyer and we'll get a universal licensing fee and this issue will be resolved because you've got to pick and choose your battles. Well, YouTube is bringing in a new battle. They're, they're beating me up again. They beat me up there and now they're starting to beat me up here with, with, with the assistance and the leadership of a fake website that promotes hate. If they didn't promote hate, people wouldn't go read them. People like smut. This is not smut. This one here, age restricted, is reality. This is what happens when you're cleaning a walnut husk. And if it starts to burn your hand, don't be stubborn. Finish the batch like me with the same rotten pair of gloves on because you ain't got no money to go buy freaking gloves. Just take a break. Rinse out your glove. And maybe do a little later on. Because if you don't, that's what's going to happen. And now that that's happened, I have to heal it. So I gave you that. I told you what I'm doing today. I told you what I did last night. It's starting to look better. You know, like this is some serious cleaning agent. This is a very, black walnut husk is a very good antibacterial, you know, remove the surface of. So, but use it sparingly. Use it sparingly. Use it in the case of an emergency. So let's just say we have a natural disaster and everything shuts down. And we know we got some baking soda on hand, right? In terms of as a disinfectant and a cleaning agent or whatever. But we also know now we got a whole whack of walnut husk 
that in the event of, and there wasn't too much around, you know, pull out a jar of that and sprinkle it on your wound, and I can almost guarantee you it's going to get kill off bacteria, and you might not need to get an antibiotic in the case of an emergency and if there was nothing else around to use. You know, do people have that kind of vision? Sure. Obviously not, because they're too busy beating up others.